Johanna. Johanna. Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is the third episode in my baby album series, but today's video is a bit more generic because I'm just showing you some really easy DIY embellishments you can make using your stash and supplies. The first embellishments I'm making are tiny word stickers. This is so easy to do. You simply type out the phrases and the words you want on your PC and print. I'm printing mine out on sticker paper. I got it for really inexpensive on eBay in full size sheets. I just used some typewriter style font that I liked and once I was happy with how it looked I just printed it out. The words I've chosen are pretty generic but there are also some baby related words I have included since this is for my baby album. I have included a link to a free printable of my word sheet in case you might like to use them too. Once they've printed out you can leave them on the sheet and cut them as you use them so they're easy to see or you can go ahead and cut out the phrases ahead of time if you want to. I love how easy these are to peel and stick and then I'm able to choose all my own words. The next embellishments I wanted to make for my baby album were some labels. Again, you can use these for pretty much anything and not just a baby book. All you need is some label stamps and ink pads. I've chosen to also stamp them onto sticker paper so that when I cut them out they're sticky. But you could do this on paper or cardstock and use your own adhesive later too. Alternatively to stamps, you could find a free to use label printable and again just print on paper or sticker paper. Labels are so easy to do yourself if you want to save some money. The next embellishments I've made are some fabric chip or button style embellishments. I have simply taken some fabric scraps, tacky glue and a thin card to make these. You just glue your fabric to the card and allow it to dry completely. Once it's dried, you can use your craft punches or die machine to cut out the shapes. Later on you can even add some tiny little holes to make them look like buttons. For the next embellishments, I'm using some kitchen foil and card. 
I'm not sure of the archival properties of foil, so this may be something to consider if you're worried about that. But all I have done is use some wet glue and adhered it to some card. You need to let it dry completely before moving on to the next step, which is to use your punches or dye machine again to create some pretty foiled shapes. To take this a step further, you can also use embossing folders to imprint beautiful designs into the foil. These can make beautiful embellishments, cards or layers in your scrapbooks. The next embellishments are probably the easiest of all. Taking some glitter paper and your favourite craft punches, again just punch out some shapes. My favourite to do are these little glitter hearts. They look so pretty and add a subtle detail to your layouts. And these type of embellishments can be bought at the store but sometimes it's just as easy and way cheaper to make them yourself. And the last embellishments I'm showing are the famous pinwheels. You may already know how to make these, but I really wanted to include them because again, these are embellishments you can buy, but you can also make. All you have to do is cut some pattern paper down into squares of any size you like, cut slits from each corner, being careful not to meet in the middle, and then folding in every second corner to the middle. You can secure them with glue or little brads and you can also attach other pretty little embellishments to the middle of them to dress them up or keep them secure. You can make these in any size you want and they look super cute and happy, especially for baby or kid layouts. So there are just six of the many embellishments you can make yourself for your albums and journals. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!